Hey guys, it is Monday evening here in the Philippines and today we're taking a look at probably one of the hottest castings from Hot Wheels this year, at least in the Boulevard lineup that is. Uh, this thing is very sought after. This is your Toyota 4Runner, uh, the 2018 Toyota 4Runner to be exact. And I know that the white one was pretty scarce in the States and the black one I don't think is as hard to find, but still yet not easy to find. And anyways, uh, I have both of them here. We're going to take a closer look at them. Actually, I was fortunate enough to have pick up two of the white ones. And actually, I got both of my white ones and the black one from here in Southeast Asia in the Philippines. Um, the white one, we'll take a look at first. I was going to break one of these open today, but I'm not going to because I have a buddy in the States that wants one and then I'm keeping both of mine carded because I may end up partying with them once I get back to the States. So anyways, um, that's why we're keeping them carded today, but we'll take a close enough look at them and such. Uh, as you can see, like on the cards, both have great card art. The collector number on the white one is number 36 and on the black one, it is number 58. So, since I already have a white one right here, we're going to take a look at the back of the card a little closer. So, in this release, you had the 2018 Toyota 4Runner, the Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR, the Slam Nissan Hardbody, and the Kafer Racer Volkswagen, and then the Honda Civic, which is also another sought-after one from this release, that Honda Civic EF, or I'm sorry, EG, um, is pretty desirable from this release, too. And as you can see on the back of my card, I have this sticker here on the back, and this I only see on, like, Asian releases. So this one was meant for distribution in Asia, either Indonesia or Japan. I know there's a lot of these in Japan. I have a feeling this case release is kind of like the J case was for the Grodd series back in 2011, where most of the cases hit Europe and Asia, whereas not many made it to North America. That's why we see those yellow and black power wagons going for 70 or 80 bucks, and then that number 67 tan and black, Bronco going for probably 40 or 50. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking is going to happen with this actually. Um, this actually is already up to like 30 to 40 bucks each, the Forerunner. So this is probably going to be one of the most sought after truck SUV castings since the two, which were the 67 Bronco and then the Dodge Power Wagon from 2011. And then we had the Toyota pick up Back to the Future one that was released in the, I don't know, maybe 2012, 2013, something like that in the Retro Entertainment series. It's pretty sought after too, but this guy here is really skyrocketing in price this year. And then they released it in a second color, which is this guy here. Now this case release I see hitting the States. I've seen some people posting on Instagram that they found these on pegs and such in the States at Walmart. And I'm sure some of the white ones were also, but as I said, most of the white ones that I've seen are coming from this part of the world. But anyways, in this uh, latest release here, you have the 71 Mustang Mach 1, the 78 Ford S. Ford RS, the Pantera, and then the Forerunner, and then the Mercedes-Benz AMG Estate Special. That Mercedes-Benz wagon is also one that's pretty sought after in this series, kind of like the EG Civic was in the release with the white Forerunner, but still, I think the most valuable and dominant one is the Forerunner. So let's go ahead and spin this around, take a look at the card art here which is pretty cool. As you can see, it's like in an old type of city village, something like that. The striping on this is very cool. It starts in the grill and goes down the side. And as you can see, this casting is like that too. So pretty cool. Nice detail with the headlight tampos. Hot Wheels has really stepped it up with some of their castings. And this looks to be pretty true to scale 
with the forerunner like uh maybe slightly small but not bad though you could pop this in a diorama and it would fit in pretty good and as you can see the black is like a metal flake black and then it has the six spoke style wheels done in like a matte finish gold with medium size like off-road tires then you have your detailed tail light tampos and then your forerunner and toyota emblem across the tailgate once again very nicely done and this is a metal on metal casting so very nice piece and one thing cool about this casting too it has the side mirrors molded in so that's an extra touch that Hot Wheels have been has been doing with a lot of their casting. So now let's take a look at the white one up close. And this one is also kind of in the way the architecture looks, maybe in a more modern style, like shopping plaza. But this one looks like an old, like Mayberry looking town, just the way the building structure looks in the background on the card so they did change up the card art background a little bit and the white forerunner here looks pretty good in this white and then going to the casting itself so this has the same wheels but done in a matte black finish and once again you have the mirrors and you can see a lot more of the details in the white one versus the black one you can see that the luggage rack bars on top are detailed the antenna is detailed and even like the I guess what I would call the marker lights on the outside of the mirror and how the mirror base is done in like a black and then the housing is done in the body color white you also have the air inlet on the hood here and then you have your Air intakes on the front bumper cover. You have the headlight tampos and then the turn signal and marker light tampos. Um, so, yeah, very nicely done. You have the emblem, on, I guess it would be your C pillar, A, B, C, yeah. So this goes all the way to D pillar since it's an SUV. And then you also have the detailed panel on the tailgate so very nicely done and then your plate which I'm not sure I don't think it's a vanity plate it just maybe it is hard to read but anyways if it is it is if it's not it's not so anyways uh very nicely done casting as I said, the white one really highlights all of the details that Hot Wheels put into this with like the tampos and such. So very nicely done truck. So yeah, this is probably going to be the most sought after release of the Boulevard series so far this year. I'm not sure what else they have in store. Something else may come out and dominate and overtake this one um so yeah very cool casting if you have a chance to get your hands on it i would go ahead and grab one even if you have to pay the secondary market price because i don't see these things going down i just see them uh to keep climbing in price even like i said the black one i can't say is readily available but it's more available than the white one and it's already up past like 25 bucks the white one i think is going for like 30 to 40 so if you guys had the chance to get one, I would snag one up. So that's my overview of this and my opinion on it and what it may do in the future for value and such. But even if it doesn't, it's just a cool vehicle to have in your uh, collection. So if you're a truck and SUV guy, this is a must have. Very cool casting. Hot Wheels did a home run with this one. So I do like it. And uh, I would advise and recommend to get one. So, guys, I appreciate you watching. And I will try to do another video later this week. Not sure what we'll be doing. I don't have anything coming in as of yet. But who knows? Maybe the weather will permit me to do some, uh, like, tour type of video around Manila. Either at our 
um, apartment compound or maybe one of the malls here or something like that. So we'll see what happens. So thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, bye-bye.